Well, welcome to our old home. Doesn't look the same. But um, it's great to see everybody again. I hope all is well with you and your families. It's been about 17 years since we gathered like this, and it was at the Westport Yacht Club for our retirement. Um, and I hope we all appreciate that every day, every day is a great day in retirement, no matter what we do. The purpose of today's gathering is to share with the PE staff is the unveiling of the plaque and the picture dedicating the Don L. F. Montel Fitness and Training Center. The Fitness and Training Center was formally dedicated to Don at the official opening of the new school sometime last year. Today is the last step and marks the completion of the dedication of this facility with the plaque and the picture. There are a few people who have been planned as a major supporters that have helped in completing this part. I'd like to acknowledge them. First person I'd like to acknowledge is Kenny Pacheco. He's a chief operating officer. Uh, I've probably driven him crazy for the last year and a half. We, we, we've, talk, we've talked often, but he has un been unbelievable how much he supports us. And he's told me in the last month or so how much he's been looking forward to meeting how I always call my family. Um, you all know Brad. He's one of us. Jack, Paul Pelican, Denise, and Timmy Monthel, they've been my ears. I've been talking to them for over a year. Tell me, what do you think about this? What do you think? And they've all had their two cents of telling me yes, no, whatever. Dr. Phil Sylvia, where are you, Phil? <laughs> he's over there. Besides being my neighbor and one of my best friends, he's a professor, history professor at Bridgewater State. And after I wrote that, you know, I can only take a visit person so far with that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I asked Phil to read it and tweak it, and he did. I was going to say a joke, but I think I will anyway, Phil. You told me not to. I know. We know we put air in balls, but no, nobody thinks that we can write stuff like that, but surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and Rebecca is not here. Oh, Rebecca, how are you? I feel like I got yelled at by every single person. <laughs> well, Re Rebecca is one of ours. She played basketball for me, but she's been kind of the clerk of the works of finishing the Durfee project, and she had a lot to do with completing the photo of Don. And uh, I teased her, I don't know, about three or four weeks ago, maybe longer. David was in Florida, and I said, don't you dare think we're going to do this till David gets back from Florida. And she kind of looked at me and goes, no kids here? I said, you don't want David pissed at you, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Evan. And, and she goes, no, I don't want Mr. Brad, uh, Mr. Broughton mad at me. So we waited. So she still remembers David. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> This plaque is a legacy plaque honoring the vision and accomplishments of Don Monthel as a director of physical education. It represents what he envisioned a great PE department should be like. He then set out to implement this vision throughout the rest of his career in the Fall River Public Schools. The plaque also represents all of our phys ed careers. We were the ones that Don hired to carry out this vision, providing good quality well-balanced PE program to every grade level in the public schools. This plaque honors Don Montel's phys ed family. As our PE careers moved along, this unique, a, unique, a very unique thing happened to us. This large phys ed staff came pretty close. We became family. <clears throat> Today proves that. Once again, we all come together as a family to pay respect to Don for all he did for us and did for the children of Fall River. In these past 17 years since the Westport Yard Club, uh, our PE family has had some losses of friends and colleagues. And we thought it fitting to take a few moments, and Denise is going to come up here as we remember them. At this time, we will have a reading of the names of our deceased physical education department administrators and colleagues, followed by a moment of silence. Don Montel. Virginia Frost, Marie Snyder, Bill Shea, Helen Karen, Lenny Harris, Ed Keyes, Ruth Dutson, Ruth Warren, Barbara Isaac, Bill Kayla, Jan Jazak, and Nancy Paulus. We don't believe we have forgotten anyone, but if we have, 
please speak up. Now we'll have a moment of silence. I would also like to state at this time, we have a couple of physical educators from our past who are dealing with health issues. Debbie Puffer, Kilty, and Margot Lavoie, so they couldn't be with us today. Thank you. Well, I think we've come to the final piece of this project to its completion, and that is hanging Don's picture. I'm going to ask Jack Springer to come up to get the picture, and then Michael, Timmy, Karen, and Donna, come on down and hang, hang your dad's picture. I think we need that. I'm sorry, I asked. I think we're going to need that, Coach. <coughs> Tim, we know you have a contractor, so you figure it out. Well, the, the, finally, the hanging of that picture completes this project. It's been about a year and a half in its doing, but um, I'm going to turn this back to Brad and let him take you around. I, I hope this means something not only to you four, because that's who I wanted it to mean something for, but to all of us. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So uh, I'd just like to say on behalf of our family that this is an extended family to us. All these faces we've known since we were little kids, backyard barbecues, events. We can think of all, a lot of, a lot of you came to our house yeah. for interviews, for your jobs when you came. Some stayed at our house. So it, it's, been, it's, been, uh, it's been impressionable on us and it's had an influence on us growing up. But this was the vision my father had, you know, Tim and I, we were devastated when we walked away from coaching in 1969. We couldn't see his vision. We were too young, we were too narrow-minded, but he wanted to bring this to the whole city, and you guys helped him do that. And those programs that you had and all the things that you extended onto the city, it's second to none. It doesn't happen anywhere else. And all you were a part of that, and all you made him so proud to be a part of all this. So thanks from us, thanks to all of you, and you're all in our hearts. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Okay, Brad, where are you? Guys, good? All right, yeah, this is this is very cool. I mean, I, and I think we were talking about like that's a lot up there. That's a lot of words, but you know, and maybe uh, a, a Durfee student will come and, and actually read the whole thing. But even if they don't. Um, <laughs> That's there, like, like Mr. Burns said, that's there for all of you. Because that's, you know, that's what you know, that's, that's what he did. Um, and then everybody will see the picture and then maybe a kid will ask about who's that. And then we get to talk about it. So it is uh, for the future of Durfee students. Um, and, and it's, like I said, it's, it's pretty cool uh, knowing what this department was back in the day. Um, and it was something special. Um, and I'm, I'm very lucky that I was able to um, grow up here as a teacher. This is, this is where I learned how to be a phys ed teacher right here. So thank you to everybody here that helped me out along the way. Um, so yeah, now we can stop the tour right here. <laughs> um, everybody knows this, it used to be the gymnastics room and then it was the project adventure room. Um, and now it is the, uh, the, the weight room training center. Um, this was a pretty much a COVID project. Uh, when school got shut down, we were in the process of building this. And um, 
able to sit home and meet with the guy from Matrix Fitness and, and design this whole thing. And uh, it, it came out great. Um, it's over, it was $107,000 for this room right here. And we tried, we spent every penny <laughs> on everything. Um, and what's cool about it right now is if you come in here, the phys ed classes are using it during the day. But when you come in here in the afternoon, uh, we'll have 40, 50 kids in here, um, athletes working out. We're one of the few schools that I know of around here. I don't know of any other school around here. We have a full-time strength and conditioning coach right now. So that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty awesome. And uh, you know, instead of a kid walking into the weight room and having no idea what they're doing, uh, they're getting specific workouts for their, for their team, um, for their skill, their position. Uh, so that's, that's, that's working out pretty good. Uh, his name is Cabrini Gonzalez. He's actually, uh, his, his, uh, he's having a baby. Well, his, his, <laughs> his second one, yeah. So he's, he's, gonna, he's out for the uh, next couple weeks, but uh, um, he's pick, he picked a good time to do it because we don't have a lot going on right now. Uh, I told him he's gonna come back after July 4th. Before we go on from Canada. What's that? Before we go on from Canada. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so we'll start right here. Anybody has any questions? And then we'll, you know, we can go out to the gym, the pool. <laughs> For the, all of you that were in the pool all those years, wait till you see the pool. That is uh, un unbelievable. And uh, yeah, and like I said, lunch is upstairs. So we'll bring guys. Uh, One more thing Camp before Chico. we go, I'd like to bring Ken up here for a second. Uh, Ken, Ken has been unbelievable getting this project done. But as I said before, he kind of got interested in all of us. So officially, I'd like to make him part of our Fizz Ed family. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Um, it's an honor for that, but it's a privilege to work on projects that remind us um, we have to look back in order to move ahead. And that's exactly what this is. Um, too many times we lose sight of history and then we just repeat the mistakes we made. So um, this is fantastic. It needs to happen more, there are more people who need to be recognized for what they've done uh, in the building and we've tried to do some of that work there's probably 56 60 different dedications throughout the building but in the rich history of Durfee High School there has to be a heck of a lot more people who need to be recognized and this is the place to do it it's a, a facility like no other where the envy of everybody the Brad was on the field yesterday with the for a scrimmage game the baseball field under the lights, there's ten million dollars of fields under construction right now, and we'll be ready for next season. Um, it's an unbelievable place, and being a kid from Diamond, um, to have a part in this place. For my Diamond friends, it's a little rough, but <laughs> for me, I got two arms; I can bleed. I don't know, black and red and black over here. So, again, thank you so much for for showing. Um, this tribute um, to your friend, colleague, dad, um, you. it's something. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.